Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back for another week of Max Potential Habits. I know that you know if you've been following me for a while that I talk a lot about manifestation. This is a topic that is one I get a lot of questions about and it's also one that has high views and listens in podcasts and YouTube and IGTV. So I know it's one that you all wanna hear more about. And lately I have been on manifestation fire. (laughs) So many good things happening in my life and business. And I just keep journaling and tracking and writing down what's working for me as I read and learn and grow in understanding how universal principles shape our reality and how you can tap into the power of manifestation magic to help you uplevel your life and business. So today I'm gonna bring to you three manifestation secrets to light up your life and business. If it's your first time here, I'm Dr. Amanda Barrientes. I'm the founder of NFA Coaching and the host of Max Potential Habits. This is your place to come each and every week for tips, tools, and inspirational interviews to help you optimize your habits so you can thrive in life and business. And one of those habits is you implementing consistent strategies to up-level your game through manifestation tricks and tools. And that's something that I so love to bring to you. So today, let's talk about the three manifestation secrets that have really helped me out lately. Uh, I've been working on this for a while where in January of this year, 2020, I started to read everything I possibly could about manifestation and law of attraction, quantum physics, metaphysics, and I got really into it because I started to play around with some of the principles and and it worked. And I always like to bring to you what works the fastest, whatever's going to get you from A to B or A to Z or A to C, wherever you want to go, usually A to Z. (laughs) I want to bring that to you so that you can you know, get on with life and have what you want. When we're stuck not getting what we want, it's because somewhere we have those unconscious blocks. I call this competing commitments. So we have unconscious blocks that are keeping us stuck, not getting what we consciously say we want. We can't manifest what we want when we have unconscious blocks. So there are tricks to help you overcome. Now, I'll say this, a lot of people go, oh, it would be awesome to manifest, let's say a million dollars. And they really want that, but then they've got all these unconscious belief systems operating underneath the surface that are stopping them from getting there. And then they think that the law of attraction doesn't work or it's not really possible to manifest what you want. But what you've got to know is that you become what you think about and you become what you are energetically aligned with. And what you think about both consciously and subconsciously is going to stop you or propel you toward what you want. So no matter whether you believe it or not, the law of attraction is at work at all points in time. It just depends on what you're actually thinking about and what you really deeply, truly believe. And you'll know when you have big shifts in your thoughts and your beliefs and your energy, because all of a sudden things will start to flow more easily in places where they didn't flow before. So, you know, you all know I was really stuck in the money realm and I was on food stamps and yes, I was in grad school and I was, you know, I was doing everything I knew how to do, but I definitely had an underlying belief system that I might forever be poor, that, you know, I had a lot of beliefs around women and money making, around subordination and money making, around my own personal sense of power and worth. And as I started to shift those underlying beliefs, things started to change for me. One of my, I wouldn't say final frontiers, but a frontier I've been working on lately is in the dating world. And it's been so incredibly amazing and validating to see how powerful of a manifester I am because of these three secrets that I'm going to share with you today. So number one, in order for you to manifest powerfully, first, you've got to be clear. So clarity is the number one secret. This sounds very obvious because like, duh, don't we need to say what we want in order to get what we want? But so many people are afraid to put out there what they really want. If this could be based on fear from the past, them putting it out there and not getting what they want because they didn't understand that those underlying unconscious beliefs were holding them back from getting what they want. It could be that you are creating, you're saying something you want based on what you've been allowed or willing to have in the past. So let's say that you're someone who's stuck in self-sabotage 
and you have said you want something, but then you almost get it and then you sabotage. That's you having underlying competing commitments that are keeping you stuck, which will lead to a lack of clarity in the future because then you have an unconscious driver telling you that it's not possible to get what you want. So then you'll limit yourself and say you want something less than what you really want because then you know it's actually possible to get. So in that clarity piece, it's us going, what do I really, really, really want? What am I willing to do to unlock my limiting beliefs that are keeping me stuck from getting what I want? And, and that takes in a whole nother level of work that if you listen to all of the stuff that I put out, out there, you'll start to develop understanding about what it actually takes to manifest what you want. This isn't like a magic trick where you <laughs> sit on the couch and go, you know, meditate and go, oh, I want a million dollars and it just comes your way. It doesn't work like that. Um, especially if you're in a place of desperation and fear and you're just hoping and praying and wishing and not taking action in the direction, which is another trick that I'll tell you to talk about in a minute, but clarity. So number one, start with clarity. I want you to write down what you really want and allow yourself to expand as much as you possibly can. Don't base it on what you've had in the past. Don't base it on what the people are around you are telling you or you're capable of. Don't base it on your inner critic beliefs that beat you up and say it's not possible. Just try it first to, to expand out to the largest extent possible what, it what you really would want. Let's just say even expand it out for the next the end of the year, right? In the next two months, we've got a couple months left before the end of the year. Expand out with clarity, write down, take the time to journal and say what you want. The clarity piece, I love this example. I've used this before is like, let's say that you went into a restaurant and you sat down and they asked you, it, it, it's called the global gourmet kitchen. And you sit down and they say, what do you want to eat? And you go, oh, whatever. What's, what it's the best meal here. Bring it to me. Here's the thing, the best meal there is subjective to the people sitting in the seats. One person might love sushi, the other person might love oysters, or let's say they love steak, but you don't like steak and you only like sushi, but they bring you steak because you did not clarify what you wanted. And so they bring it to you and you go, what the heck, I didn't want this. And they say, well, you didn't tell me. This is exactly what the universe is doing. If you sit down at the gourmet universal kitchen and you don't clarify what you want, the universe is gonna bring you things to help you figure it out. And that's awesome. What a gift from the universe, but it's a lot easier and a lot faster to get clear on what you want. So write down what you want clearly and, and articulate it by writing it down in your journal, by thinking about it, by visualizing it, by seeing it, by, by having the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So you're, you're, you're visualizing it and you're going like, yeah, this is what I want. I believe it's possible. And anywhere that you don't believe it's possible, if you notice those little kind of niggling thoughts that go like, oh, I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if you can have this. You might not be worthy. Start working there because that's going to block you from manifesting what you want. Number two, Gratitude. <laughs> I know people say this a lot and it's one of those that we throw around and go like, you got to be grateful. But here's the thing. Gratitude is the ultimate magnifier. It, it, there's a magnetic effect of gratitude and it's a magnifier. So what you're grateful for expands. So if you're constantly just noticing the beauty around you, noticing the awesomeness in the people around you, connecting deeply with the people around you, loving your work, loving your house, loving even your kids being little turkeys. I call my kids little turkeys sometimes. <laughs> and it's like loving that part of them, loving what is you know, gratitude will help you shift into this, the place of joy, right? So when you're in a place of gratitude, you can't be in fear. When you're in a place of gratitude, you're one with, let's, I say God, the grand organized design of the universe, universal intelligence. Let's even say you're agnostic or, or a, you're an atheist, like gratitude still is a place that attracts more love, more connection, more joy into your life. So gratitude is one of those really powerful forces. And to listen to the full episode, head on over to nfacoaching.com, hit the podcast link, and it'll take you to all of the full episodes. And go ahead and leave some comments. I'd love to hear from you to know how these inspirational interviews, tips and tools are impacting you in your life and business. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any of the Max Potential Habits episodes.